Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. And in my last video, I was talking about the 501st Trooper with respect to the recent Hasbro announcement that they're gonna reissue it, re-release it, whatever you wanna say. But um, it's an interesting one. So I did a video about that because my concern is that the helmet is not gonna be scaled perfectly like that one is. This is not a removable helmet on this figure, but this one here is the VC80, the vintage collection one, which, you know, really has always had an oversized helmet. Do check that video out because it saves me waffling on about it now. But that was the point I wanted to make in that. So along the same lines of the pipeline, I want to also now talk to you about my man, Figuring Dan, who's also scheduled for a future TVC release. But what exactly will that be? So hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. And it's funny this one because it's not long ago at all that I was talking about figuring Dan because I did a video in here where I isolated five figures that I wanted to see in the vintage collection that, you know, were not in the 96, the original Kenner 96. And uh, one of them was Garin Dan. And I had a few people comment in and they said, what about figuring Dan? And I said, yeah, I'd love to see figuring Dan on a vintage card. The reason I didn't choose him was because I, I figured that he would never get released on his own. You could, and maybe that's what they're gonna do, but really I see them as a band. I mean, hell, I bought this not long ago in a set commemorative tin or whatever it was. So Garin Dan was my top choice out of the five I chose. I'll leave a link to that video if you wanna see who else I chose. Um, I think Uncle Owen was another one. But still, so I wanted to talk about figuring Dan today like I was gonna. A few days ago, I decided to do this video and the one I did on the 501st, so check that one out as well. But anyway, the point is that last night I was watching Tim's live stream, right? Tim from Bosk's Bounty, and he was uh, talking with uh, Jason from Yakface and John from SWTVC, but I think, it, I think I got the gist of it because at the point that this conversation started, I was editing a video, actually, so I was kind of half listening, but they were actually talking about the recent... Um, army building set box, whatever you want to call it. And you know, I'm livid about this because uh, I actually didn't even get one myself because they all sold out. <laughs> Ridiculous. I mean, I can't grumble too much. I've done very well in the past and acquired stuff that's been very scarce. <laughs> Why don't they make things like this more available anyway? Save that for another video. But they were talking about that. And then I think, am I right, Tim? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. They were talking about those things in the pipeline, including the 501st. I think the conversation was suggesting that these could all be similar, like boxes of multiple army building figures, of which, you know, this guy, since there's five of them, you could get him in a box, maybe? I don't know. Were they suggesting that? They were definitely talking about this VC45, which I talked in my last video. Again, in my 501st video, I talked about the fact that uh, I would like them to, if they reissued this guy, sort his helmet size out. And this VC45 here, they nailed it. You know, that's a removable helmet and it is you know, perfect scale wise. But I think they were talking about the fact that this box of figures that you can get for army building purposes would be suitable for more than just stormtroopers. You could do clones in there. You could have Endor commandos. You could have these guys. You could definitely have, as I say, phase one. And one of them could be the much needed yellow commander, you know, yellow trim, but still. So my point in this video is just to discuss figuring Dan because again, I never chose him a few weeks back when I was literally talking about characters from the original trilogy and there's no, nobody more or no species more iconic than the Bith in the Cantina and they would look great and we love Cantina aliens. They do very well, but um, I just figured that they'd never do him on his own card. And it makes me wonder now, why are they doing him? Is there also a greater good behind this that they're gonna do a cantina for the future? They're doing a Navarro one, I know that much, but um, you know, it's been a wish for many people, including my man, the usual Mike, who's rallying behind doing a cantina, which is, yeah, very, very much long overdue. So anyway, let me know your thoughts on this guy. What do you think? Do you think they're gonna do five cards for him? It seems highly unlikely that they would do five cards of each, oh, each band member. I presume they've all got names. I know that he's got a cousin or a brother or something. Where is he? This other guy, this is Barquin Dan. 
Yeah, it's, it's all relative, but they're very... You can, they all look very similar, don't they? That's not species. Speciesist. It sounds a bit speciesist, that. But uh, <laughs> don't, don't, please don't cancel me. They look the same. Anyway, I'll put him on there now then. Oh, he doesn't stand up very well. That's a good reason why they need to bring him out because I tell you what, they do topple, so you do need stands for them. So anyway, there you are. Let me know what you think about figuring Dan. I tell you what, I'm sure you will concur with the fact that whatever they do, even if they just bring him out, him out on his own, <sighs> I can imagine that car back looking pretty kick-ass. Imagine that with slightly better articulation than that as well. He does need an update. Again, this is from the commemorative tin, this one. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you are new around here, do subscribe. Check those videos out I mentioned earlier. It is free to subscribe to this channel as I just walk backwards into the table. Um, just tap the notification bell as well because there are uploads coming thick and fast, so you don't want to miss them. Thank you very much for watching. Final, <laughs> one final time, this has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.